What to do about pet anxiety during severe weather? Severe weather can be scary for anyone, but as a pet owner knows, it also is a challenge for our furry friends. Dogs can sense a drop in barometric pressure, and when that happens, they know a storm is on its way. Recognizing your pet is getting stressed out is the first step in getting the help it needs. Experts say cuddling and being visible during a storm can help. Providing it with a thunder shirt, which is a tight-fitting garment, can also give it a sense of security and comfort. Dr. Blake Crawford is an associate veterinarian at the Petal Animal Clinic and Animal Medical Center in Hattiesburg. Crawford said there are reasons and solutions to your pet's anxiety. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. It can be as simple as not eating through the night or hiding under the bed, hiding away from owners and just excessive, almost like shaking, because they are so anxious, Crawford said. It can also be something that's triggered as a puppy when they had a really bad storm and they were vulnerable and it just pops up, Crawford added. Sometimes it can be broken or sometimes you have to medicate them in the face of their anxiety. If your dog is acting distressed, try distracting them with play, enrichment toys that you can stuff with food, chewing and gnawing is a terrific stress reliever, or even some training activities. Sit with them, if they still can't relax and appear restless or scared, and let them wait out the storm in their cozy den. Bad weather isn't the only seasonal event that can affect the mood and health of your pet. A third of dog owners noted their pets feeling melancholy during the colder months of the year, according to earlier research undertaken by the PDSA. Dogs might get depressed from time to time, but the winter weather can exacerbate the problem owing to altered daily habits and a lack of physical activity. During the summer, you may notice your dog slowing down or lagging you on walks rather than sprinting ahead. If you have concerns about your pet's anxiety or any other health issues, the first place to seek answers is always with your local veterinarian.